The 2020s was defined by the rise of small ball, with tiny agile guards like Stephen Curry, James Harden, Chris Paul, and Damian Lillard taking center stage. This era was marked by a faster pace, increased long shot attempts, and manipulating the rules of the game to favor the crafty ball handler. Though this era was fun and seemed unstoppable, remember that every empire will rise and fall. As a new generation of big men watched film, they adapted to this new playstyle and began incorporating guard and forward skills into their bag of tricks. The 2020s ushered in a new NBA landscape, led by stars Nikola Jokic, Joel Embiid, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Kristaps Porzingis. With emerging talents like Victor Wimbanyama and Zach Eady poised to make their mark in the coming years. And by 2025, a new name is set to join the league and become a formidable presence for years to come. This new giant destined for the NBA is Rocco Zikarski. Rocco was born and raised in Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. His father, Bjorn, standing 6'10", was a world-class athlete in his own right, as he swam in two Olympic competitions back in 1988 and 96 with the German national team. He even claimed a bronze medal in 96 as a part of the 4x100m freestyle relay event. Rocco's mother, Kylie, was also an accomplished surfer and Ironman athlete. The two gave Rocco not only some good genetics, but also instilled in him with the extremely hard-working mentality it took to become a world-class athlete. Rocco actually had his first taste of national sports success in the pool, like his parents, back in 2021, when at 14 years old, the already 7 feet tall Rocco would win the U14 National Championships in the 50 meter freestyle event, the shortest and fastest event in the sport of swimming. His time of 24.18 seconds long course meters meant he was on track to earn Division I scholarship offers in the sport of swimming and potentially pursue a professional career in the water had he have chosen to stick with it and pursue that path. But thanks to his extreme size, Rocco turned his focus to his second love, basketball. During his early teenage years, Rocco stood out with the Brisbane Grammar School basketball team, mostly thanks to his extreme size, but showed he was a very quick learner. And by the age of 15 in 2022, Rocco was named to the Australian U16 national team, which was set to compete in the FIBA U16 Asia Championships in Qatar. Coming off the bench in this tournament, Rocco looked spectacular. He contested every shot he could, he attacked the rim with an attitude, and he moved up and down the floor very well given his lanky 7'2", 15-year-old body. In six games of action, Rocco averaged 11 points, 10 rebounds, and 2 blocks per contest in only 17 minutes a night. Australia would win the gold medal, going 6-0, and Rocco would be named to the all-tournament first team for his efforts. Due to COVID shenanigans, the FIBA U-17 World Cup in Spain was only a month later, and Rocco, despite still being only 15, was invited to participate. Here he would face the stiffest competition of his young career, but he still managed to look like a kid on a Nerf hoop. Australia dominated each of the pool play matches with an average margin of victory of 32 then took care of business in the first round of the knockout stage, crushing Lebanon by 50. But in the quarterfinals, they would fall to the host nation, Spain, in a thriller, only losing by two points. This match was probably the best one to accurately measure Rocco's on-court ability. His strength of rebounding, shot contesting, and screen setting were ever prevalent, and he even showed some advanced passing abilities for someone his size. But his weaknesses in strength and conditioning were also noteworthy as he was hunched over a lot of the game. It did not help that Rocco's teammates also had a hard time getting him the ball inside as they had their hands full dealing with the highly talented perimeter players. In the end, Rocco's 6 points, 8 rebounds, and 0 assists failed to paint the picture of how well he performed. But that's basketball for you. Australia would go on to defeat Slovenia in the next match led by Rocco's 22 points. 10 rebounds and 5 block shots. Unfortunately, Australia would lose their final match against Serbia, again only by 2 points. They finished the tournament in 6th place with a 5-2 overall record. Rocco ranked 1st in blocks per game with 3.1, 
finished fifth in scoring with 13 a night and finished in the top 10 in rebounds at nine a game. This summer, or Australian winter technically, of basketball earned Rocco the right to move up from the amateur scholastic sports level to the semi-professional one as he joined the Australian Sport Institute's BA Center of Excellence team to compete in the NBL 1 East League. Australia's highest professional basketball league is the NBL. It currently sits as the third highest level basketball league on the planet. The NBL 1 is essentially their farm system. The teams that compete are not affiliated with NBL teams directly, but the NBL does prefer to scout players out of this league first and foremost to fill out their roster with Australian talent. Unfortunately, not much footage exists of Rocco playing with this team, but at only 16 years old, the 7'2 Rocco played in 7 matches of only 15 minutes a game and put up averages of 9 points on 65% shooting along with 6 rebounds and 2.3 blocks per game. Pretty terrific production given the fact he was now going up against adults fighting for professional roster spots. Rocco's performances with the national team and within the NBL 1 earned him an opportunity not yet seen before as he became the youngest person in NBL history to sign a professional contract at only 16 years of age. He entered the league as a part of the Next Stars program, an initiative of the NBL to develop future NBA talent and give said young players a true professional alternative prior to entering the league. This is what the G League Ignite should have done rather than creating the terrible Ignite team. The Next Stars program puts one player on each team. This means the roster is still a real professional one, made up of people playing for their livelihood and minutes have to be earned, not given. This is the system that helped develop future NBA Rookie of the Year and All-Star LaMelo Ball, as well as fellow Top 100 NBA talent Josh Giddey and most recent number 2 overall pick Alex Saar. Rocco would join the Brisbane Bullets on a special two-year contract for the 2023-2024 NBL season. Backing up NBA champion Aaron Baines, the 17-year-old Rocco had an excellent role model to learn under during his rookie season. He did not get a ton of playing time as his physical strength and conditioning were still catching up to the professional level, but in his three minutes per game in 29 matches, he showed three qualities that NBA scouts have adored. The first is that he runs up the floor really well, especially when you consider his extreme size at now 7'3". On several occasions, Rocco would be involved in a play where the opposition turns over the ball, then he would run in perfect form along with the team's guards to finish or follow for a rebound on a fast break. The second attribute NBA teams will love is his eagerness to contest every shot up high. Rocco understands why he has a roster spot and is getting minutes. It is because of his length and athleticism. He is making sure to use it every chance he gets. In only 7 minutes of action, he managed an impressive 1 block per game. If you were to balloon his opportunities to a more normal starting center minute total of around 25-ish minutes a game, that would be over 3 blocks a night. Far greater than Alex Sar's production at this same level. Even when squared up to the number 2 overall pick Sar, Rocco held his own very well. And of course, the third skill that will get him into the NBA is his rim finishing ability. Rocco is a major threat as a lob finisher, he is an aggressive offensive glass cleaner, and he has shown an ability to put the ball on the floor and get inside around stronger, more experienced pros. Plus, being a lefty adds a little spice to his game as he finishes very well with that hand that most defenders are taught to force players to use. He shot 62% from the field as a rookie. This was good enough to rank him 5th in the entire NBL, though he did not technically qualify with enough shot attempts. Rocco even earned a spot on the senior national team as a 17 year old in February 2024 for their two FIBA qualifier matches. They would win both battles and against Indonesia he had his first official points putting up 7. A few months later, once the NBL season had wrapped up, Rocco would join the Boomers U18 squad to compete in those world championships at the Albert Schweitzer tournament in Germany. Here he put what he learned at the professional level to use within the age group level and he absolutely dominated. The footage is blurry and I apologize for that, but the way he protected the paint, attacked the rim and overall was a terror on both ends was something to marvel. 
Australia would go a perfect 7-0, winning the world title. In these matches, Rocco averaged 18 points, 11 rebounds, and 2.9 blocks per game, while shooting 73% from the field. Though the 2025 NBL season remains young, we have already seen Rocco's game develop further. His minutes of action a night have increased with his improved strength and conditioning, he is attacking the rim in crowds better, he's moving his feet while maintaining a strong body on the defensive end, and he is even now spacing the floor a little bit with a modest set shot. Rocco Zakarski looks like the real deal NBA lottery pick who just about any NBA team would love to have. It is still early in the draft projection process, but I think he has a good shot to be one of the highest picked centers in all of the 2025 class. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video and learned something throughout. I am a big fan of international basketball and I hope to bring more of these types of videos in the coming years. Please like the video if you have not already. Comment your thoughts on Rocco Zakarski down below and subscribe for more future basketball content. I will see you all next time.